Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another episode of Punishing Dumb Ass Openings. Oh, this is a this is a five minute blitz game I played the other day, and I've been kind of toying over it. It really it had to be in the Punishing Dumb Ass Openings series. It's just an absolute stinker, and it's got a name. It's even got a name. I think it's the first dumbass opening that I found that somebody's actually put someone's name to. Um, now I have to confess, I did not punish. I, I let you guys down. I should have punished this opening way harder than I actually did, right? But um, I mean, check it out. I mean, it starts from the Alakine's defense, which is. A dodgy way to start anyway right you, you you're putting your knight um, in the path of an advancing pawn and if the pawn advances which I think is the correct move the knight's gonna have to move now I've always seen the knight coming to here before okay but Zolfo Vivo rated 1384 it's a respectable blitz score from Switzerland um, plays knight to e4 and um, so I kick it again and it comes back here so I kick it again and it comes back there and guess what what would you do in this situation you've got to kick it again kick that horse kick it right how often do you get to say that right no horses were harmed in the making of this movie by the way all right so I've now got almost total control <laughs> over the <coughs> I'm going to die making this video um, of the space in my opponent's half of the board. And, and guess what? The knight's got to move again. So it comes here, right? Okay. So now I think, well, let's just keep kicking the horse. Kick the horse, right? And now it comes in here. Now this has a name, right? Let's go back to the start. This is, on, from this movie, this is Mokila Mbembe variation. So some African chap... At some point, this was thought this was a good idea. I mean, we've got to see if this is has, has this ever been played. I don't know. Anyway, so kick, kick, kick. And then let's hit the knight again. So, is he going to trade knights and find himself with no development whatsoever? Of course he is. Queen takes. Okay. So that's now I've got two pieces developed, two pawns right in my opponent's face, and black has done nothing, nothing. Okay, now, <coughs> excuse me, just clearing out the last is chest cold. Ah, it's the time of year. Okay, and now Black decides to start playing chess. You know, he's finished his cup of tea and let's play chess, okay? So I ignore the threat on the pawn. Um, castle long, I've now got a barrage, I'm now castled. I'm 5 4 nil up in terms of development because I've got two pieces developed. And I've castled, which is worth two. So he takes and I take back with a queen. I mean, th this doesn't even look like there's been a game of chess yet. It's insane. So he pushes e6. I retreat the queen. Knight comes out. I develop my bishop. Maybe, I don't know, there might be an argument to Fianchetto, the bishop here. Look down this diagonal. A. But I'm thinking that at least with the bishop behind my queen... I've got ideas here. So, you know, if he thinks, oh, I'm going to castle and put my king here, then boom, bada, boom, and he's checkmated. So, out comes the queen, having a sniff around my a2 pawn. Ah, easy enough to handle. Quick move the bishop again. I might drop my bishop down here on b3, defend that side of the board. Okay, now he decides to grab the pawn. Okay. So, I don't want to trade off... Um, so the thinking is, I've got such a lead in development, right? Um, my opponent hasn't castled, I have. Therefore, what I want to do is I want to keep my attacking, um, I want all my army out there ready to pounce because it's down to this guy to try and get his king safe now. So he decides to trade queens and we trade queens. Okay, so I'm down a pawn, right? But I've got all the development in the world. So he brings his bishop out and um, off goes Harry. Go on, Harry. There you go. 
So Gary now joins Harry in the assault on the king side, right? Uh, he brings in his knight. So he is looking, this pawn is undefended, has to be set. So if I played f4, he'd probably take the pawn. Um, so I just push g5, all right? Take options away from this bishop. And now he pushes f6, I decide to trade off. He uses his bishop. Now I hit the knight. Knight comes in here looking at my bishop. And I put my bishop here wanting to trade off again, all right? My king is quite safe. I'm now throwing material at him. He's got nothing really, you know, there's nothing really endangering my own king. Yeah, I mean, principally he's got a knight and a bishop looking at this, but we're about to trade off bishops, eh? So there we go, off comes the bishop. Now I've got bishop looking down on here. Um, so he develops a pawn. I retreat, looking at the knight. Pawn there, develop the final piece, right? Pawn there. Drops a pawn. Okay, now he doesn't have this because I have bishop takes. So he grabs that pawn. Okay, so now he's still actually a pawn up at this point in time. Um, this pawn is hanging, I notice. Uh, so I could have just grabbed that. But instead I play bishop to here, obviously lining up a discovery against the rook. Okay, not the best move, because now he gets to play his rook there and defend this hanging pawn. So, just a failure for me, but it is, you know, it's a blitz game. I've got two minutes on the clock, I'm not going to find the best moves, right? Okay, rook g1. As classic as you get, right? I'm just lining up a major piece against my opponent's king on a semi-open file, right? Now he has a poke at my bishop. Bishop simply retreats the c, uh, d3, where it's defended by the c2 pawn. Knight comes in looking at the rook. Obviously, right? Rook, uh, rook d to g5, threatening to come in and start hoovering up pawns. Pawn advances, off Harry goes, okay? So Harry's now threatening to take this, his pawn can't go anywhere. He lifts a rook, I take anyway, he takes anyway, I take with the bishop, okay? And now he's in some trouble. Okay, so I've got my pawn back and he's got zilch around his king. That king is butt naked, right? But daddy, the emperor has no clothes. You damn right, the emperor is butt ass naked. Okay, so bishop back here. Boom, bada boom, simple tactic, discovered check, yeah. Has to win the rook. I mean, the rook can block, but then the rook gets gobbled off. Okay, let's take the rook. Boom. And now it's just a case of just dancing around and, and trying to finish off the game. So we've got a few more moves, actually. Um, retreat here. Check. Grab a pawn. Rook comes here. But, you know, this is like... Well, he's got two and a half minutes left on the clock, right? Because he's been dicking about um, playing stupid-ass moves. Um... I've been trying to think a little bit more and with some idea about, I don't know, this novel concept of trying to win a game of chess by playing better moves than your opponent, but hey. Okay, so check, there, boom, checkmate. Pretty simple in the end, eh? You know, so from check here, he, could, he really had to advance because otherwise it's mate in one, yeah? So he should have played that. So let's do a quick game review. I know that I kind of sucked in that game, but... It's hard, you know. Some, when somebody plays such a dumb-ass opening, it can really catch you off guard sometimes. Oh, look. Apparently, he even had the edge here. So, I've got one blunder and one missed win. Let's, let's check this out. Knight to f6 is a book move. That's a book move. And now, white is already plus 1.2 at this point in time. Okay. I tend to win against the Alakines. Well, fair enough. I would be very interested to see uh, how many people have actually played this. I don't think any masters will have played this. Okay, d3 is best. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a blunder. Okay, so what should I have done here? Plus five already. That's a best win. What should I have done? Queen in. Well, I mean, that's putting the queen in quite a threatening position and threatening the knight. 
And where's knight going to go? Knight can't go there because of bishop. Can't go there. No, 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 bishop, no, pawn. Oh, that would have won the knight. I played the wrong move. Queen f3. There you go. And that, boys and girls, is why we don't play blitz. Okay, so he trades off knights. Fair enough. Okay, good position. And it doesn't like that. What should I have done? Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Sent Dave the, day, the D pawn into the danger zone. But I decided to do this. He takes. I take, yeah. Good. So there's quite a lot of good, decent moves here. Doesn't like that one. Knight out first. Okay. I guess the knight's got better prospects of looking at this square. You know, for sure. But then the knight is also blocking the f-pawn. So, so I play that. He plays a great move. Ooh, that's okay. But what can be won? No. It's saying ignore the threat. Apparently bringing this knight out is a really good idea. <laughs> Worth giving up a pawn for. And some king safety. Why? I guess also it's a third attack on, on this, h7. But hey, so I play that. Yeah, and I drop the pawn. Oh yeah, of course. Well, it's, it protects his pawn, but you know, it drops his pawn, so I don't know. That's inaccurate. So now black is actually in a good position. Weird. Why is that best? Why is that best? Let's have a look. Nah, not really. Okay, but anyway, so he throws this out. I'm, hang on. Okay, so it doesn't like that one very much. Trades, trades. It doesn't like that move either. So I actually fancies black at this point in time. Isn't that weird? Black's got zero development, yeah? Doesn't like that. Okay. And now it's, you know, I'm doing the right thing here. I'm going after the king. Um, but it kind of likes black situation still. That's a mistake. Now I bring out my knight. Okay, that's a mistake. I could have just captured that actually as well with my knight or with the pawn. Um, that's a mistake. Should have played. Ah, oh, survey said. Boom. Yeah, capture it with the knight. But that's blitz for you guys. Okay. Takes blunder. I overlooked the opportunity to capture an undefended piece. What did I miss? Oh, a pawn. Yeah. Yeah, it, like I say, in the game, because it did prompt the rook to move and then defend the pawn, so... Wow, weirdly, black is still winning. So like I say, didn't punish this anywhere near hard enough. This win wanted a really good, hard punishment. Um, don't like that. It likes this. Good move. I come here. And then... And then, boom. And total blunder. Total blunder that black here should have played. Pushing on, okay. But, and then it's just it's just all over. His com position completely falls apart, so there you go. Yeah, should have punished that harder, daddy. Should have punished it harder. But um, in the end, you know, so it wasn't the greatest um, example from me, but what an, what an opening, right? Um, I, I'm going to look out for it in future. I don't think I'll ever see it again in my entire chess career, um, but I hope I do. <laughs> um, but you can see why I just had to share it with you. I mean, whoever thinks that, that starting off games that way, I mean, I, I'm al almost tempted to go and look at Zolfo, Zolfo Vivo's profile to see what he does and how he gets away with playing that dumb ass opening and still having a 1300 blitz rating. I don't know. It's beyond me. But, uh, you know, if he enjoys it, I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you later.